Yeah, Mike, as you said, we are outside that factory right now. If you can see it across the street, you can see uh, the, the number of cars that are still in the parking lot. A lot of these workers inside. Again, if there is no deal at midnight, they'll be walking out. They're going to be coming over to here, from what I'm told, along this street, kind of where we're standing. They're going to be lining the streets in this picket. And we're actually, this is the UAW Local 900 right here. We've seen many people showing up, a ton of people pulling in. I know Congresswoman Debbie Dingell I've already talked to is inside. Uh, the local, obviously, the Local 900 president is inside. They're preparing for this potential strike, but all day, Many of these you know, plants were preparing for a potential strike, not knowing which ones would actually be targeted. We spent the day at the uh, local 680 or eight, 682, excuse me, uh, or 182. Uh, it was actually over in Livonia at the transmission plant. They were uh, you know, wondering if, if they were going to be on strike too. And there's a lot of uncertainty going into today. But one thing is certain that at least a targeted strike will disrupt production. At UAW Local 182, the countdown has been on, and now members are ready for a historic strike. We don't want to strike, but we will, if necessary. This local represents the Livonia Transmission Plant, which according to Ford is the largest transmission plant in all of North America, with over 2,600 employees like Terrence Cook, who's worked at Ford for 48 years. How would you feel if you're making a company a business trip billions of dollars or whatever, and they want to give you kibbles and bits? This won't be Cook's first strike, but it will be his first targeted strike. This new UAW plan to strike all three automakers will start by striking only targeted plants with a goal of inflicting pain on the big three. If you were the UAW doing this targeted strike, what would, what would you be targeting and what would be the most crippling, I guess I would say? I think the powertrain facilities are definitely a good place to go. Um, Amy Boglin Peterson is a supply chain management professor at Michigan State who previously worked in supply chain at Ford. She says without transmission plants, assembly at other plants would grind to a halt quickly. I would guess maybe two to three days worth of, uh, of stock on hand before they would actually stock out. And it would be very, very detrimental to try to build any type of vehicle without such a major assembly. ABC News met with Ford CEO Jim Farley, who says 11th hour negotiations aren't happening and claims the UAW's demands for a now 36% wage increase and 32 hour work weeks would bankrupt the company. There would be plant closures across the country. So many people would lose their jobs. And frankly, we wouldn't be able to invest in any great new EVs. While the UAW has criticized CEO salaries and raises, Farley says Ford's latest offer to workers is historic and generous, with a 20% wage increase, restoration of COLA, and cutting time it takes to get to top tier in half. My job is to make sure everyone succeeds. We are giving them historic benefits. It's a competitive market for all of us. But not My, the same as yours. Of course, but they, everyone will understand that. They're the ones that's getting everything. We're the ones that's making it for them. But Cook and 150,000 other UAW members say they don't understand and are ready to bring the big three to a halt in order to fight for what they feel they deserve. We're union and we're going to stay that way. So the company got to come across. It's time. Now, again, we still have about 50 plus minutes until the workers at this plant would walk off the job if no contract is reached. Uh, some people getting off already right now from the factory and they're now walking and driving over here to the local 900. As you can see, we already see uh, some people gathering gathering out here in the front of the uh, local 900 as well going inside again we've seen a number of people that are inside as well uh, waiting until the clock strikes midnight and if it does they'll be on the streets and the strike will begin live in wayne on broadcast seven action news